After the whole Adrahelm scandal, people may be feeling a little hesitant about new drugs for Alzheimer's. However, recent news on another new treatment that would slow disease progression may be worth a look. And that's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. This study was a phase three placebo-controlled double-blind randomized trial. It investigated the treatment potential of a monoclonal antibody that targets amyloid protein at an early stage. The trial included 1,795 people and gave an intravenous infusion of drug or placebo bi-weekly for 18 months. Cognitive decline was measured by the CDRSB or clinical dementia rating sum of boxes, a numeric scale for quantifying symptom severity in dementia that assesses cognition and function. According to a press release dated September 27, 2002, the new drug called lecanemab reduced clinical decline by 27% from baseline when compared to placebo. The difference was seen after 18, but not 12 months. The drug also significantly reduced amyloid levels in the brain, which are thought by many to be intimately related to the disease. That 27% reduction in cognitive decline translates to just a 0.45 point difference in scores between the placebo and drug groups. This almost half point difference was statistically significant, but we know that doesn't automatically mean clinically significant, or put another way, that it translates to a meaningful difference for patients suffering from the disease. It's possible that it is, but we'll need more information to understand this better, especially since the drug has side effects that include brain swelling and bleeding. We need to know if the benefits outweigh those risks. The makers of the drug were granted priority review by the FDA under the accelerated approval pathway after their phase two trial. Results from the current phase three trial will be used to seek full approval. Application data for drug approval have also been submitted to Japan's Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency. It looks like the full results will be presented soon at a scientific meeting, and hopefully we'll see a full paper in the near future. Until then, it'll be difficult to make a full judgment of the outcomes of the trial. Some experts seem cautiously optimistic, others not as much. Even if the treatment does make a reasonable difference in patient outcomes, giving them more and better time, research will need to continue so we can develop other treatments and maybe, hopefully, someday a cure. The role of amyloid protein in Alzheimer's isn't as set or as central as it is sometimes presented. As quoted in a Nature article on the study, amyloid is associated with the problem, but it isn't the problem. We've got other components, like the tau protein, that also appear to play a major role in disease progression. It's possible that a cocktail of drugs would provide the best treatment outcomes. In any case, though, we're ready to celebrate if the treatment proves to be meaningful for patients and their families, and we look forward to finding that out. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on Agilehelm. We'd appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you can help support the show, make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillaholm, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. <laughs>